He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lamada. Will all your dreams come true? Oh, it brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you start? All the reading, I just can't wait to be hearing story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you start? All the reading, I just can't wait to be here. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Monday, wherever you're joining us from today. And it is pouring out here in Oakland. It is pouring out here in the Bay Area. Um, please, please um, do spare thought. Many people are, of course, out on the roads to getting to work and doing all kinds of things. So please, please be careful as you're driving out there. And also, um, especially thinking of those that are not housed right now with all this rain out there. Well, Sending good wishes. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Glad that we're here together. I hope that you had a good weekend. I'm glad that you're here with us. I'm glad that you're able to join us. Um, hopefully, if you're in the Bay, hopefully um, your area has not been flooded. And uh, um, and of course, we are avoiding all that. Thank you so much for joining in. Thankful here that, um, yes, indeed, lots of rain, but so far, so good. Um, and definitely um, thankful for that. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. We do have wonderful books lined up this week. We are looking at some amazing, amazing learning coming up ahead. And of course, uh, we'll be doing some sleuthing, solving some mysteries, space, sky, trains, rail, rail transport, jobs, and all the different work that people do. And of course, we'll explore sound this week. Thank you so much for joining in. And Please, please join me for all those amazing books as they come up this week. And today we are looking at an amazing one indeed. This one is called Space and Sky. Do you know Space and Sky? And this one is coming up very, very shortly. And it has been almost um, almost 18 months since we last read that book here on Storytime. So we're coming back Space to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely love it. And our special mention for today too, I must start with that is Hello Rain. And um, I don't know if you can um, hear it out there. Hello Rain, if you can still hear it. Um, if you can hear it behind me, because there's so much rain going on here. But this one is Hello Rain. We've read it many times here on Storytime. Kyle McClare and Chris Turnham. Yes, Hello Rain. And of course, today we do have a wonderful book coming up. This one, Do You Know Space? Do you know? This is the Do You Know series. And so it's a Do You Know Space and Sky. And it is written by Virginie Lubier and um, illustrations by several illustrators, actually. Robert Barbarini, Audrey Brian, Helen Cover. Christian Gibor and Christian Tadera. And uh, I know that um, these are French names, most of them, so I am most likely <laughs> messing them up. Please do bear with me. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Please, as always, let us know where you're joining in from today and who is uh, with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you. Amanda West and say good morning from Sarah and Nathan. Hugs. Thank you so much for joining in um, out there in Chile, Massachusetts. You said Oakland made NPR news this morning, so we immediately started thinking about and praying for everyone affected by the weather, hoping for safety for all. Indeed, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for those positive vibes. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your good thoughts and um, indeed for putting them out there in the world and uh, absolutely needed. Thank you so much for joining in. Glad that we are here together. Yes, thankful that we 
can still be here together. And of course, get ready for a wonderful book indeed that we have not read in a while, but it is definitely back here on Storytime today. Thank you so much for joining in. Good morning one more time, Sarah and Nathan. And of course, good morning to you, Amanda West as well. Thank you so much for joining in and glad that we are here together. Good morning, good morning. Thank you. And we do have amazing books coming up this um this year, of course, and so excited for that. And of course, this one is coming out on March 1st, 2023. Jack, the library cat. This one coming from Marietta out in Massachusetts. Congratulations to you, Marietta. And indeed, thank you. Looking forward to that one. And another one that is coming up is this one is coming up well, really soon. January 17th, 2023. We do have To Boldly Go. This one is coming from Angela Dalton and Lauren Summer. So do join us um, very shortly too. They will be here on Storytime to talk about their amazing book. So do check that one out as well. Thank you so much much lots to look forward to and of course to our image for today is out at um cape cod and at cape cod and this one is mayflower beach thank you so much for your submission um Kristen Carster and of course Owen and Miles. Thank you, thank you, thank you indeed. Mayflower Beach on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Thank you so much for sharing. Absolutely love it. And I thought too that um um when I bring in the picture like that, it it doesn't do it justice. So I I can't remember if I put on the full um the full image itself. I'll see if I can bring it up later on so you can catch the full. I love the way the clouds, the effect of the cloud, the sun on the clouds on this one. And talking of which, we will be looking at space together today. Thank you so much for joining in and glad that you are here with me on story time. Indeed, a beautiful submission. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get ready for this one. Space and Sky by Virginie Lubier. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. Glad that we are here together. Who else is with us this morning? Good morning to you, Soraya. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope that you are well. You're out here in Oakland, so indeed I hope that you're staying dry. And of course, as you go out to school, as you're going out um, on um, your different activities, we hope that you stay dry. And of course, uh, drive slowly, drive slowly, yes drive slowly in these wet conditions better to be careful thank you so much for joining in story time absolutely appreciate you and of course we have our book coming up and we'll be getting started very shortly space and sky how is it where you are thank you for joining in story time today i'll be right back after this short message from um from angela darton excited excited about everything that is happening see you on the other side thank you so much for being here with hello story time <laughs> friends my name is angela dalton and i'm an author of picture books some you may have even seen read right here on story time with mr lamada i'm excited to tell you about my brand new picture book called to boldly go how nichelle nichols and star trek help advance civil rights it comes out January 17th, and it's an amazing story about the legendary Nichelle Nichols and her role on Star Trek, which she left until a very special person reminded her about the impact that she was making, not just on television, but around the world. And I'm excited to tell you that myself and Lauren Semmer, the illustrator, will be coming here on January 20th to read the book to you and to answer any questions that you might have and to tell you a little bit about the book and how we came up with the idea for it. I hope that you'll join us again on January 20th right here in Storytime with Mr. LaMada. Until then, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about me, please visit me at AngelaDalton.com. Okay, now we got to get back to the story today on Storytime with Mr. LaMada. I hope you're enjoying it. I know I am. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Welcome back indeed. Welcome back. Thank you, Angela Dalton. I'm excited. January 20th, you'll be here, of course, celebrating the brand new book that is coming out very shortly. Thank you so much for joining in. Good morning to you, Moffat, out in Lusaka, Zambia. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in. And for those of you that um, you know may not know, Moffat and I went to the same high school five years from eighth grade all the way through 12th grade out in Lusaka, Zambia, a school called Livala High School. Yes, indeed. <laughs> 
go cowbells good morning to you Moffat. thank you so much for joining us all the way out in lusaka zambia appreciate you all right so we'll be getting started with our book uh, this time this one is called do you know space and sky by virginia lobier and of course illustrations by robert barberini audrey brian helen convert Christian Gibor and Christian Tadera. Thank you so much to everybody that put an effort to create this book. And of course, a big thank you to 12 Books, the publishers, an imprint of, can of, of um, uh, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. A big thank you to them indeed. Um, 12 Books, an imprint of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. All right. So we have lots and lots of topics to cover in this book, as you can see. Exploring space, the solar system, the sky, studying the universe, so much, so much. But we're going to pick a few of them, a few excerpts that we're going to read. And if you put something that you would like to explore in the comments, maybe we might read it. Maybe we might get to it. So what do you think? The solar system, the sky, studying the universe exploring space i know that there are um subtopics in there subheadings so i hope that you can um catch them but we'll get started with what i've prepared and of course if i see your comments in there and see what you'd like to talk about i might just read an excerpt from there too but here we go so we're going to start off this one with the types of planets and where are they the types of planets are under the solar system, and we're going to go to page 30, types of planets. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Types of planets, page 30. Oh, come on, come on. Here we go. All right, here we go. Page 30, types of planets. Are you ready for this? All right. Types of planets. In our solar system, there are three types of planets. Terrestrial ones with, rocks, with rocky surfaces. There are also gas giants and ice giants. Did you know that? <laughs> good morning, good morning, Sonu and Gwenya. How are you doing out in the Saka Zambia as well? Thank you so much for joining in. Happy New Year to you for sure. Yes. <laughs> Livala in the house. More Livala in the house for sure. Love it. In our solar system, there are three types of planets. Terrestrial ones with rocky surfaces, gas giants, and ice giants. And we have Neptune, which is the planet furthest from the sun. It's right here. And we have the gas giants. Jupiter is the biggest planet. Saturn with the rings is the ringed planet. Who else do we have? Well, the ice giants, we have Neptune and Uranus. Uranus is the sideways planet. This one right here. Who else is there? Well, we have the terrestrial planets. We have Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Earth. What's special about each one of them? Well, Venus is the hottest planet. Mercury is the smallest planet. Mars is the red planet. And Earth, the blue planet. What life forms exist beyond Earth? Great question. What life forms exist beyond Earth? No one knows if they are extraterrestrials or beings from other planets. Many people have imagined what they might look like in books and movies. Scientists send space probes to other planets to look for signs of life beyond Earth. At this time, they believe that the life forms they might find would be very small organisms, such as bacteria. And we know, too, that recently there were some documents that were declassified and the government has said that there have been objects unidentified, flying objects unidentified. So we don't know. We don't know. But as you know, it's all about learning and evolving. And um, yes, more research continues. So who knows? 
<laughs> yes, at this point, scientists believe that the life forms they might find would be very small organisms such as bacteria. And that is about the different types of planets. We have the ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. And then we have the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. And then, of course, we have the terrestrial planets. These are the ones with the rocky surfaces. Venus, Mercury, Mars, and, of course, the blue planet, our planet. Ah. <laughs> yes, types of planets in our solar system. I hope we learned something. Oh, what next? Let's see what we can read next. So much to read about in this amazing book. We read about the universe last time this book was here on Storytime. So let's go on to the next one. And I wanted to read about the water cycle too, because I know it is raining out here. Even though we read it last time, I still want to read about it some more. All right. Where is the moon? I want to read about the moon. And let me know too if there's anything else that you'd like to read about. We are here. So let's go to page 29 and read about the moon. Oh, there we go. The moon. What do you know about the moon? <laughs> the moon is our planet's only natural satellite. It is about 240,000 miles or 385,000 kilometers away from the Earth. Its surface is covered with dark and light areas of craters and mountains. And this from the visible side of the moon, which is visible to the, if you're on Earth, visible to Earth, you have all the different types. There's the sea of crises, the sea of tranquility, sea of vapors, sea of fertility, Tycho crater, sea of clouds, and so many more. The seas which show up as dark patches are actually large areas of hardened Why is there life on Earth? Great question. Earth is a unique planet. It is the only one in our solar system that supports life for plants, animals, and humans. At least that we know of at this point. Life exists on Earth because its atmosphere contains oxygen and there is plenty of water. Earth is also a comfortable distance away from the sun, so we have the perfect amount of heat and light. Oh. <laughs> that is about the moon, the Earth's only natural satellite. It is about 240,000 miles or 385,000 kilometers away from the Earth. Its surface is covered with dark and light areas and cra of craters and mountains. And we read, too, that those dark patches are actually large areas of hardened lava. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yes, and that is a little bit about the moon. And so let's go on to the next part that I wanted us to look at, which were the seasons. Yes, I know that we've been, uh, we've moved already from Oh, now we're in winter and we keep moving. Spring, come on. We want you to come sooner. <laughs> and of course, what is it that causes those seasons? What are seasons? So let us read that together. Earth's axis is slightly tilted. That is why we have seasons. The part of the Earth that directly faces the sun gets the most heat. And as you can see there, the Earth is slightly at an angle. Its axis is tilted. And you can see that you will have summer depending on how, whether you're facing away from the sun or not. And all the different seasons. Where does the sun go at night? Well, in the evening, you can see the sun disappear over the horizon little by little, as if it were going to bed when night falls. This is not because the sun has moved, but rather the earth is rotating on its axis. In the daytime, you can see the sun from where you are. It takes 24 hours or one day and one night for earth to turn completely around. 
Well, since we're talking about that, we might as well read the day and night that is here, right? Day and night. On the side of the earth that is facing the sun, it is day. On the other side, it is night. And there you go. Morning, midday, evening. And you can try this experiment at home too to see how night and day occur. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Earth's axis is slightly tilted. That is why we have seasons. The part of the Earth that directly faces the sun gets the most heat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, to conclude today, we're going to read one part about re-entering re Earth from space. We know that people go out to space. There's also the International Space Station up there. But what happens? How is it? People come back. How is it? Resupplying the space station or spacewalk? Or how do we get back here to Earth? And we're going to read that to conclude. And this one is called Return to Earth. <laughs> After staying on board the International Space Station for several months, the astronauts return to Earth aboard a Soyuz spacecraft. International Space Station all the way out. And you can see the parts of the Soyuz separate, the parts of the Soyuz separate, and the descent module heads toward Earth. And then you have the orbital module entering Earth's surface. It has to enter the Earth's atmosphere first. And with the outermost being the exhaust sphere and keeps coming all the way down. And then there's a parachute. The module slows down as it descends. Thanks to parachutes and retro rockets. How long does it take to travel to and from the International Space Station? Well, the trip to the International Space Station usually takes about six hours, but it could take longer. It depends on how quickly the spacecraft can catch up to the fast moving space station. However, the trip back is much faster. The journey lasts only three and a half hours. After weeks of floating on the International Space Station, the astronauts have trouble standing up and need some help to leave the module, but their bodies quickly readjust. Oh, who knows? Maybe one day you will be out there at the International Space Station. Thank you so much for going to space with me today and, of course, for joining us for story time. I hope that you've landed back safely. I hope that you enjoyed that wonderful book. Yes, indeed, Space and Sky, Do You Know series. Thank you so much for joining in. A big thank you as well to 12 Books, an imprint of Chronicle Books of San Francisco for allowing us to share this lovely book here on Storytime. Find it at your local library. Find it where you find books, Space and Sky. Thank you so much for joining in. Catch me on the other side of this short message when we are back for more Storytime. Thank you so much for being here with me. <laughs> Hello, Storytime friends. My name is Angela Dalton and I'm an author of picture books. Some you may have even seen read right here on Storytime with Mr. LaMada. I'm excited to tell you about my brand new picture book called To Boldly Go, How Nichelle Nichols and Star Trek Help Advance Civil Rights. It comes out January 17th, and it's an amazing story about the legendary Nichelle Nichols and her role on Star Trek, which she left until a very special person reminded her about the impact that she was making, not just on television, but around the world. And I'm excited to tell you that myself and Lauren Semmer, the illustrator, will be coming here on January 20th to read the book to you and to answer any questions that you might have and to tell you a little bit about the book and how we came up with the idea for it. I hope that you'll join us again on January 20th right here in Storytime with Mr. LaMada. Until then, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about me, please visit me at AngelaDalton.com. Okay, now we got to get back to the story today on Storytime with Mr. LaMada. I hope you're enjoying it. I know I am. Okay, see you soon. Bye. 
Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining in, Storytime friends. Absolutely appreciate you. And I hope that you enjoyed our book today, Space and Sky. Do you know Space and Sky? And this one coming to you from Virginie Lubier. Thank you so much for joining in, Storytime today. Absolutely appreciate you. And remember, too, that our special mention with all the rain that we've been having out here in California, well, we are highlighting Hello Rain by Kyle McClare and Chris Turnham. If you've not checked it out, please find it on the Storytime platforms or indeed find it where you find books. Ask for it at your local library. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, we are not done. We are back again tomorrow for more Storytime. And please do join us when we bring back another one from the Do You Know series. And this time we'll be looking at trains and rail transport. Do join in for this one coming to you from Cecile Benoist. And of course, I'll be excited to share this one. Also coming to you from 12 books and Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you so much for joining in and I hope that you join me tomorrow for trains and rail transport. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And of course, thank you for the beautiful submission. Yes, um, Cape Cod there. Um, uh, Mayflower Beach at uh, Cape Cod uh, out in Massachusetts. Thank you so much for the submission, Christine Coster. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, Owen and Miles, we appreciate you here on Storytime. Thank you indeed for joining in Storytime. And of course, too, uh, congratulations to you, Marietta, on your upcoming book. We look forward to it. Jack, the library uh, cat, is coming out on March 1st, 2023. And of course, Angela Darton's uh, to go to boldly go is coming up as well on january 17th very very soon so please please remember too that you can get signed copies of angela darton's book so do keep an eye out for those and indeed on the 20th remember that angela darton will be here uh with uh, lauren summer to talk about their amazing work. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. This has been Storytime for today. This has been Storytime for this wonderful Monday morning. This has been Storytime on this rainy day out here in Oakland. This has been Storytime and we're here for you. Thank you so much for being here with us and um, absolutely love you. Sending you hugs. Thank you. Thank you indeed. And of course, we look forward to seeing you for many, many more Storytimes. Thank you, Amanda West and of course, Sarah and Nathan for joining us out there in Chile, Illinois. And of course, you are sending us um, prayers and of course, uh, uh, good wishes from out where you are. Thank you so much. Appreciate you and hoping for safety for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Absolutely appreciate you. Thank you indeed. This is why we come to this community, such loving people. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you, Zariah. Thank you for joining in from right here in Oakland. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day indeed. Wonderful rest of the day. And I hope that we learned something from the book together. And of course, um, um, next time, please do tell us too, if you want something else to be read, send us those recommendations and we will bring it here to Storytime. We'll work hard to bring it here to Storytime permissions granting, of course. Thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning to you, Moffat out there in Lusaka, Zambia. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes, Livala High School in the house and more Livala High School as well. Good morning to you, Soniwa and Gwenya Mpula all the way out in Lusaka, Zambia. Thank you for joining us and you say Happy New Year, everybody. Well, happy Happy New Year to you, Suniwe. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Thank you for being here with us. This has been Storytime and looking forward to seeing you on many, many more Storytimes. Thank you for joining in, friends. This has been Storytime. Much love from me. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Thank you. 